Hello, statisticians, and welcome to the 9.4 Excel tips on hypothesis test for proportions. In this case, when we're dealing with a proportion, a percent of success out of a total, we need to make sure we use slightly different formulas than we used with the mean. With proportions, proportions always use the normal distribution. So we'll have to use equals norm dot s dot dist, open a parentheses, and then our z value or our test statistic comma true and close the parentheses. That command is the same command that we used in 9.2 when we were working with means when we know the population standard deviation. And just like in that video, we may have to adjust for a left tailed test just using the command, a right tailed test doing one minus, or a two tailed test where we have to find the tail and then multiply it by two. Check the video on 9.2 to see how to do that. We did one of each type of example. This video is going to only look at one example. We want to show that over 90% of teachers will support a new technology in the classroom. Because I want to show over, that means I want to show that it's greater than. So we could put a null hypothesis that P, because it's a proportion, is equal to 0 0.90. And for our alternative hypothesis, we're trying to show that that proportion is greater than 0 0.90. Because we want to show more than 90% of teachers support the new technology. Which means if we were to draw our little normal distribution with the 0.90 inside, what we're looking for is actually a right tail. So we're going to have to do 1 minus the command when we actually do our p-value, because the normal command only gives the left tail, and in this case we're interested in the right tail. For the test statistic, we first might be interested in finding the standard error, which has a slightly different formula. The standard error is the formula, the square root of p times 1 minus p divided by n, close parentheses on the standard error formula. So for our case, the standard error is going to be equal to, hit the equal sign, sqrt, open a parentheses, p comes from the hypothesized proportion of 0.9, so 0 0.90, times, parentheses, 1 minus the 0 0.90, close parentheses, divided by my sample size. And if you notice in our sample, we had 500 teachers and 471 supported the new technology. So our sample size is 500. And when I close the parentheses on the 500, we end up with a standard error of 0 0.013416. Now when we do the test statistic, the test statistic is simply going to be p hat, for the proportion from my sample, minus p from the hypothesis divided by the standard error that we just calculated. What that means is we still need to know what the p hat is or the proportion from our sample. We can get that quickly by saying equals, we had 471 in favor out of 500 total, our p hat is 0.942. So for our test statistic, we'll say equals, open a parenthesis, our p hat, minus the hypothesized proportion of 0.90, close the parentheses, divided by the standard error, and I can just select that cell. When I hit enter, we find our test statistic is 3.13. For our p-value, we have to remember we're doing a right-tailed test, so we're going to have to work with the complement. So we will say equals 1 minus to get us the right tail, norm.s.dist, open a parentheses, Select our test statistic that we just calculated, comma, true. And when we hit enter, we find the p-value is 0 0.000873. Because that value is smaller than the alpha of 0 0.01, our decision is going to be to reject the null hypothesis. Our null hypothesis is 0.90 or 90%. We're rejecting it in favor of the alternative, which means we successfully showed the alternative. Our interpretation then is there is significant evidence because we successfully showed the alternative by rejecting the null that the alternative hypothesis is true. More than 90% of teachers will support 
a new technology in the classroom. So that's how we can work a hypothesis test for proportion. Works very similar in concept as we saw with means. The main difference is we have a different formula for the standard error, and we might have to calculate a p hat. Good luck on your assignment, and we'll see you in the next video.